Welcome to your daily devotional for the month of October entitled A Reverent Life from the book My Life Today. October 4th Reverence for God Reverence in my life God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be had in reverence of all them that are about him. Psalm 89 verse 7 Another precious grace that should be carefully cherished is reverence. True reverence for God is inspired by a sense of his infinite greatness and a realization of his presence. With this sense of the unseen the heart of every child should be deeply impressed. The hour and place of prayer and the services of public worship, the child should be taught to regard as sacred because God is there. The hour and place of prayer and the services of public worship, the child should be taught to regard as sacred because God is there. And a reverence is manifested in attitude and demeanor, the feeling that inspires it will be deepened. Well would it be for young and old to study and ponder and often repeat those words of holy writ that show how the place marked by God's special presence should be recorded. Put off thy shoes from off thy feet. He commanded Moses at the burning bush, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Jacob, after beholding the vision of the angels, exclaimed, The Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. Humility and reverence should characterize the deportment of all who come into the presence of God. In the name of Jesus, we may come before him with confidence, but we must not approach him with the boldness of presumption as though he were on a level with ourselves. There are those who address the great and all-powerful and holy God who dwelleth in light unapproachable as they would address an equal or even an inferior. There are those who conduct themselves in his house as they would not presume to do in the audience chamber of an earthly ruler. These should remember that they are in his sight, whom seraphim above, before whom angels fear their faces. God is greatly to be reverenced, all who truly realize his presence will bow in humility before him. A Reverend Life, October 4th